Greetings, my noble knights. It is I, Blaze Templar. And I guess I was wrong. We're doing episode 11 after all. Might as well get another chapter done, shall we say, and keep moving on. Get as much of this done as possible and all that fun stuff, so. We got through Volcano Volute and we're now in a grimy, grimy forest. Speaking of which... Don't you feel something? This forest is contaminated by the dragon's poison. My voice is tired. <laughs> they don't need a defense. Hard for a woman. Yeah, did I mention this game was made in the 2000s, early 2000s, late 90s? You're special. There are problems that this game has, but you know what? I usually can look over them. Kaisers, the eighth, I'm guessing. Their translation job can be a little confusing at times. Let's go! They're playing brother and sister. Yep, they're always like that. You know, I actually feel sorry for those two. Doting dart. Hey, eh? see what I did there. And that looks like a giant spider's nest. I don't really want to cross that. Speaking of freaky things, that is one freaky monster. Man-eating plant. And as you noticed, it's going to be quite a bit stronger than the enemies we just fought. Not strong enough, though. Actually, how many more do I need for that? That's a good question. Four. Okay. Now, you may be wondering, why would you take the time to make sure you're doing it exactly? Well, one, well, it means I don't spend quite as much time on an addition I don't need to. And two, well, there's a neat little thing you get, a reward for mastering a lot of additions. And I want to get that reward, because it's a good reward. Ow. Also kind of ow. I may have let that thing survive for a bit. <laughs> it 
Its name is literally Run Fast. I don't think the translation team spent a lot of time, or localization team spent a lot of time figuring out the names for these things. Well, he's gonna go for the offense instead of the defense. Hmm. Okay. That's unfortunate. At least we have better armor now. That'll actually come quite handy here soon. I mean, it already is nice to have because you're taking less damage. Always nice to be able to do. Now, I actually had a reason for doing that. And you may wonder why, you'll see in a minute why. I promise it wasn't just for the chance to kill a couple bats, although that's always nice to do. nail these things for some decent damage, always nice. And these things are very attack happy right now. But yeah, it went from like 40 damage to 30 damage. So yeah, noticeable improvement with that armor. I mean, sure, Labbits could use the armor too, but I figured Dart. He's kind of like the mainstay character, so, you know. Huh? Geronimo. Down we go. And I was worried about that nest. I knew it. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Well, we don't have to look for the dragon anymore. Pure water. If you defeat the monster, the forest will be saved. You know it's a dragon dart, it's not actually a monster. Gonna blame the localization team again. I'll probably do that quite a bit more throughout the game. Now, of course, it's not just a straight path to the dragon, that'd be too easy. No, we have to take a couple detours. Yep, that's not the one I wanted. I wanted to touch the plant. We can do that on the way back, though, I guess, so no harm, no foul. And I know this is kind of a quiet episode, but I'm trying to conserve my voice a little bit, and... 
not the most is happening at the moment. I mean, I'm crawling around vines looking for little plants to touch. Not exactly something you can go... And the mysteries of the deep sea um, are dead because a man touched them. Uh, there's not a lot I could say about that, I'm afraid. Um, this is something that is probably the reason why RPGs are the hardest games to uh, let's play. Just because there are a lot of areas where you just kind of have to grind or uh, go through big areas. Oops. Um, and so it, it does make it a little bit more tricky to make it entertaining and engaging, I'm guessing. So this is actually kind of a nice experience in that regard because it's kind of showing me where I need to improve. And talking during additions is something I know I'm not supposed to do. Bad blaze. Should be doing that to myself right now, you know. Just as a side note, it wasn't really. Just a brush of the cheek. I do not recommend actually, you know, hitting yourself. That, that's not very good for yourself. Oh, oh goodness. Definitely am trying. I do apologize. Um gonna try not to yawn anymore, but if it happens, I I know it probably will. Okay, I know where that is. I think so. Yeah. Uh, maybe I didn't. <sighs> Over that way, maybe? Is Blaze having a stupid moment again? I think he is. I think we have a Blaze stupid moment in progress. So I think it is actually time to save, um, and we'll finish up this dungeon in the next video, I think. Just so we don't go too far. Alrighty, see you guys next time. I'm going to try to get some sleep now. It's 5 in the morning. Cheers.